Good morning, children of God. Good morning and win today. You are welcome. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your power, your glory. We thank you, Father, Trinity of Heaven. You are our Lord, our Savior. Come and fill us, fill our hearts. Direct and Father, touch us with your deliverance and while you release your power and the light during the meeting of today. This is a meeting, prayer session, prayer meeting that Lord Jesus, where we connect with you, when we call you, you come down and fill us. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, fill our heart. Thank you, Lord. Children of God, you are welcome. In Jesus' mighty name, you are welcome. I love you. I will never stop loving you. I love you. The thing is that God loves you more than me loving you. He loves you more. Because our Creator loves us more than ourselves. So I cannot say I love you so much because the person that loves you so much it's our Father God. He who created you and me. So children of God, I welcome you today in the prayer session of Tuesday. And I thank you. I thank God and thanking you again while you are still following me and pray with me because we are sharing the word of God, comforting each other, teaching one another. I just love God because the way He loves us, as I said, is so much. He loves us dearly. That's why we are still breathing. That's why we are not lying in the hospitals. That's why we have a place to sleep. Others are sleeping under the bridges. They don't know what to eat today. But we are blessed, more than blessed. That's why we have to thank Him. Children of God, Today, as it's Tuesday, while right, we are preparing another fasting, starting tomorrow, may God strengthen us because we are connecting with Him and the fasting. We don't do it, it's only God sending His servants and speak through His servants that do this and this. So we thank Master Jesus even for the grace because we know that it's so sufficient and we make it. You know, I've got prayers and prayers and prayers are the ones that are strengthening our souls. Prayers and connecting ourselves next to Father God is give, uh, is, is giving us strength and, and belief and faith to say it shall be well. We keep on saying it shall be well. Even if you know that it's hard, because he likes to perfect it at his own time. He knows what is good for us. We cannot pray today and say we want something next to then he do it. When he do it the time, it was the time to do it. He always like perfect things. He must perfect it. You know, God, today we'll be speaking our topic. It's about Holy Spirit, the inner being. Holy Spirit. What is Holy Spirit? How do you know that you have Holy Spirit in you, inside you? But children of God, if we can go to the book of John 14. If we read the book of John 14, You go and start there from John 14, you go to John 20, uh, sorry, John, uh, the, the, the book is John 14, and you go to verse 15. You proofread, but I don't want you to proofread. Just read it attentively, slowly, repeatedly. Because it's where where you and me started to live freely 
because other one will say other person will say why you say we live freely we have challenges no god knows it it's is father our jesus christ is speaking deeply about where we are on earth and the time he left the 12 to join his father hmm? it's very powerful you have to know where who is holy spirit where does holy how do i know that i possess holy spirit but when you go to john 14 verse 15 then you go again to verse 15 you move again to verse 16 and finish at, at verse 16 you will know the broaden explanation of where what is holy spirit who is holy spirit because they our father jesus was talking to the twelve it's very touching because why i say it's very touching he loves us dearly he loves me and you he wanted us not to worry when you go to his father that's why if you go to john 17 where you do a long prayer you will start from john 14 verse 15 and go to verse uh, john 14 verse 15 you go to john 16 the whole 16 and you end at john 16 the whole 16. you will you will be happy children of God slowly and attentively you will know who you are because the Holy Spirit according to our this word of our father that come from his mouth if you remember when we start this prayer meetings on my new videos I talk about the prayer of John 17 when our father Jesus knows us on the last hours he was going to be crucified when he prayed for the 12 i even told you that the 12 is you you who follow him you who believe that jesus died for you and that you said i'm a child of god come whatever challenges and then he said it started nicely the book of Matthew, Matthew, uh, when he speaks in the book of Matthew 16, verse 33, when he said, In this world, there will be trials and tribulation. But you have to cheer up because I overcome. Overcome the cross, the world, Satan, the prince of the air, whoever he called himself. That liar, no, the deceiver. So, he knew, I'll repeat it again, he knew that in this world you will never live a soft, you will never live a soft life. You will have challenges, barrier, sicknesses, disease. That's why Satan created it. To specifically torment the children of God. Children of God, that's why it repeats always. As long as you have Holy Spirit in you. Because according to the book, who is Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, when Father Jesus went to his Father God in heaven and joined him. You must know that it's Trinity. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. When he reached there, before he had a discussion with his Father, his Father knows already. <coughs> Sorry. That is why he's, when he told his Father that, Father, you know the world that I'm coming from. Because that one Satan, we know that he was thrown to the world. So in this world, he must hunt only for the children of God. That they must do what? Move away from their belief and believe that there's a herbalist who's better than him and a sound of, of which no ways resist that. That is a lie. Resist it because it's all a lie. He's the father of lies and deceiving. Who created him? 
who copies everything that one Father God was with him in heaven, giving him a higher post to say, position, sit next to me. I am planning, planning to do this and this and this in the world. I will have my own angels doing this. Then he took everything. He thought that he will overcome the creator. That there's no one, nobody, who will overcome our Lord Jesus Christ and save and his Father and the Holy Spirit. Never. So when he reached there, his Father, when they sit down in the heavenly courts, in the golden table, heavenly courts, and they sit and talk this issue. I just imagine, I can see it. Let me just send them an inner being, a third one. So that's why where in John 14, verse 15, when you read it, children of God, it will tell you that it's Jesus Christ speaking. Remember now we're counting hours before the crucifixion. He didn't promise without keeping. That's why today, children of God, we're coming to that. Let me not go there. If you love me and keep my commands, I'll ask the Lord the Father. And he will give you another advocate. If you love me and keep my commands, not sinning. I will have, I will ask my father to give you an advocate. Meaning that when we go to Psalm 11, where he says, I monitor all the movements of my children and monitor all the forces of darkness. He monitors us to see how we sin. I will sin. I'll, I will ask the Father, my Father, He will give you another advocate, the Spirit of the Truth. So many things says, Lord Jesus, I accept you. You are my God, I don't believe. To that Satan and his agent. I believe in you because you created me. That's why I said, children of God, we are so special. Because even if you give birth, you are pregnant, you conceive. That conception, God knows it. He agreed that there must be conception. Then who share a life? He breathed in on your name. In, in your nostrils. You share a life with him. You are unstoppable. You have the grace. You are a child of God. Defeat and fail are things of the past. The Holy Spirit is the inner being. Let me say, it, it's a second, a, a second Jesus Christ that lives in your heart. That's why when you go further, when you go to verse 15, yeah, goes 15 uh -huh. from there. When you go to, uh, you move from verse 14 and go to verse 15 uh, to chapter, uh, pardon, sorry, chapter 15. Let me put it there. Chapter 15, verse 26. It's when he said, when the advocate comes, now when the Holy Spirit comes, the helper, mm -hmm. when he comes, the spirit of the truth that I have signed to you from the father the spirit that holy spirit of the truth who goes out from the father that's why i said he share with you hmm? you should be proud children of god that because i believe there is someone inside my heart that someone want to be activated like a, 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 a switch of the light. Your spirit is hungry. It needs to be fed. Feed it. Feed your Holy Spirit, children of God. 
Fill it with a word. Feed it. Holy Spirit needs you to ask him, talk to him. He's an inner being. Holy Spirit, I know you are inside me. I know my father has sent it to me because I believe that whatever I'm doing, it comes from Father and the Holy Spirit and my God. This is Holy Spirit. Remember I ask, and even the topic says, who is the Holy Spirit in a being? The third person, the third person who says spirit inside you, it's an inner being. An advocate by saying that God, I love you. My father, I believe. Help my unbelief. I want to follow you. You go to his father. Father, yes, my child, Ruth. She believes. Send the Holy Spirit to protect her from the wickedness of this world. To guide her. And when you go further, just say, children of God, just read attentively. You'll even when you walk, you'll break. That come challenges. Invite them. Come. Satan, come with the I'm unstoppable. I shall not die. I will never mourn knowing that my father Jesus lived in me. Therefore, my family will be blessed because of me. Remember, Holy Spirit is inside you and is, you are the one who believes. Therefore, you are the one who must change your family. You have been chosen by the Holy Spirit and Father, the Son. The Holy Spirit, that you will represent that family. Therefore, resist it. Remind him sometimes, even if there's nothing happened, when you see that there's a pain or something, I'm reminding you, I'm unstoppable. I'm a child of God. Holy Spirit, live in me. I shall not die. Why must you die? You have the Holy Spirit. Unless your father says it's your way and you will see it. And I pray that you must know when your time comes. Because we are the child of God. Why should you lack? The richness of the spirit, children of God, is better than the earthly one. The earthly one, let's pray. We must say, God, I want to be rich. No. God, give me a job to support my family. God, give me money that will never distract me from not doing the work of God. The money that will be only to feed my family and have something for the poor. That is all. I envy always to say, God, why must I have more? If I can give only five, or if I can become a partner of four or three of your children of God, because I know they will be supporting the poor. I know that I'm content. The money that I will be sending, two or three orphans will eat. Remember the our God is a father to the orphans. And Senna Prophet is just teaching us to give. Even it's one, that one. One, that only one. Heaven appreciate that one person that you are helping. One person that accept Lord and Savior that you are God. I still say it's Satan. Come with all your rocks and hit on top of me. The beating inside will continue to trip, 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 because there is an owner there. Holy Spirit, children of God. That's why I said topic says what? Who is Holy Spirit? It's an inner being that is in you. Guiding you. Telling you what to do. That is the Holy Spirit. An inner being. An advocate. I tell you, children of God, that every morning or every day or in the afternoon, acknowledge your Holy Spirit. He must see that you are his wanted. He must know. He can listen. Holy Spirit, I'm talking to you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. I like to say, good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, fill me more and more. Teach me your ways. Talk to him. You are so blessed because you believe in your Father. That is Holy Spirit. That your Father sent it, knowing that you will have challenges. And then when we go, that's why I love it so much. That's why I say, read Verse 14 of John, start at uh, proof text, go to from verse 15. Then you go to uh, John 15. Then you go to John 16. Slowly and attentively. That's the words coming from your father, your master. The only one that you will kneel down and confess that is the Lord. 
and Savior, children of God. Then you go to verse 16. And when you go to verse 16, when you read from verse 12, or let me say from verse 13, that Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the truth, when it comes to you, it will, it will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. He has from who? The Father, Father God, because Holy Spirit is coming from Father God. He take it from Him and send it and give it to your heart because we love you more. That's why I say you are so blessed, children of God. He will speak only what it hears. And He will tell you what is yet to come. Why it's like that, children of God? Because uh, you as a prophetess, you as an apostle, you as a pastor, whoever prophesies, whoever sees things, Holy Spirit is in you. He's telling you what is receiving from Father God. Father God, the great of heaven and earth. That is Holy Spirit, children of God. So how do you know that we have it? We have passed to the first chapter. How do you know that we have Holy Spirit? Children of God. As long as you have belief and you are a child of God and you, 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 you have accepted Father God and you are asking Him, my Father, clean all the sins that are tormenting me. By doing all those things and praying, and be, becoming a child of God that is sin free. Children of God, I told you before that every day there's no one who cannot sin. Excuse me. We sin very bad because we are only human. But when we ask God, Father God, forgive us. But don't go and sin inten intentionally. And you said, I'll go and pray and ask Father God to forgive my sins. No. It must be knownly, it must be unknownly, not knownly, unknownly. That is a sin. Not to say, I'm doing, I'll do it and come and say sorry. Then you remember your father. He monitors, he can see. Whenever you operate, what you are thinking. I mean, a creator who knows the number of your hair. And then, let's just drop children of God, all these things of Satan and all his enemies. And stand up. And stand up in that pain. And repeat it while you walk inside the room and say, I know the power I'm under. I know he never lost any battle. I know it's my creator. You will perfect it when the time is right. Repeat that always. You will perfect it when the time is right. Because you are sick. You cannot stand. Hmm? We don't get all our heart desires. And it's so hard, I'm telling you. Because we'll be crying every day. And by, oh, by then, when we cry every day, he can hear, he knows. Angels will report that Ruth is crying every day because she's sick, she's lying on bed. There's a lot of afflictions in her body. He will never heal me tomorrow or next week. He has to perfect it. That the minute he perfect it, no darkness, no deadness of Satan's agent will ever invade my body. So how do you know that you have it? When you do that polishing, polishing, that's why in the book of John 14, when Father said it here, When you keep my commands, his script, his laws, his command, his transcript, when he talk about, he's talking about the sins and to keep it, the command, follow his laws, the laws of Moses, not to kill, not to gossip, not to hate the neighbor, he's talking about those commands. 
It's not easy for that, but that's why I always say, Father, help my unbelief. Father, my weaknesses. Sina Prophet T.B. Joshua teach us, taught us, taught us that we have to pray for our weaknesses constantly. They're the ones that are causing all the barriers. So here he said, if you keep my commands, I'll do what? I'll speak my Father to send the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the truth. So what do we have to do if you want? How do you know that you have it? You will see it, children of God. The minute the Holy Spirit it has, been, it has been released by Father God, your body will never be the same. The same. There will be a big change. Your body will never be the same. Your heart, you will feel it. That the more I pray, the more I read the word, the more I ask Father to be next to me. There's something moving. You will see. And then your level will change. The signs will be there. And when it changes, the voice, the inner being, the advocate, will talk to you you will hear the voice that voice like his father god speaking inside you that's where now when you go to verse 16 if you go to verse 16 verse 13 where he says it will tell you what to do, what it hears, the Holy Spirit, because it's listening to the Father above. That's where prophecy comes. That's where direction, directives comes. That's where the inner being, the Holy Spirit, the advocate, the spirit of the truth is speaking a lot clearly in your heart. Remember, it speak with you when you sleep to tell you a prophecy about what they're showing you. And then it works. It has it works. And sleeping, walking, they talk to you. And then they show you what will happen. You wake up while you pray. And then when you are praying, let's take your body is not fine. And then I will kneel and pray. And then my advocate will speak. The minute I pray and then I'm starting, Father, here I am. There's a tight spirit in my body. I can feel it. And I know where it is. Holy Father, I'm asking your deliverance saying, while I'm praying, closing my eyes, kneeling in my altar, like yesterday, then I'll be shown the part of the insect that Satan has sent to torment me. Then I change the tune. Holy Ghost, fire to you, evil worm of Satan. Get out, I disconnect you in my body. Holy Ghost, fire in your eyes. He operates like that. Things will change in you. You will know. So now, children of God, to have that benefit, let's do what the book of Sam, sorry, of John 14, verse 15, what it says. To live according to his commands. How must we live according to the commands? Every prayer and meditation. Father Lord, here I am. I sin no longer and no longer. Seen as I am like the book of Psalm 51. My father like the book of Psalm 119. I say no and and only. Blow every iniquities according to the book of Psalm 51. Wash me thoroughly. Let me be whiter than the snow. Father, uproot everything that is not of God. Create me in the way you want me to be. Father, I just want to live according to our commands. I envy to live according. Teach me all your laws, your command. I want to live the way you live. And when you do that prayer every now and again, 
Father is changing because you are asking what to do. To make you holy. Not holy as we cannot be holy. The person that is holy is the Holy Spirit in our Father. To make you to be, to close the avenue of that sins. And then immediately, Father has heard all your prayers. The angels has reported the angels of recording prayers. Immediately, your life changed. Because he already says, because Ruth is praying every day to be pure. Send the Holy Spirit to guide him. The Holy Spirit is coming with a lot of benefits. The advocate, you know the advocate, just imagine the advocate at the courts, how does he do? He protects you. He talks with all he lies. He talks everything that make you not to lose the case. Holy Spirit is making you not to lose any case to devil. He is protecting you because you belong to him. That's why I say that you are so blessed. Now switch on the light. Start to polish inside. Polish Holy Spirit. Shed everything that he must be happy where he stays. Because your heart is a prayer room. It is his resting room. Then switch off the light. Feed him. He's hungry. The Holy Spirit needs to be fed with the word. Feed him with the word. When he says, after he receive, you have received him, when you hear the voice says the word, go straight, even you spend five minutes and read it. When you say prayer, go and make it, even it's ten minutes. That's how he groom us. That's the topic of today. Children of God, I love you. Go and read and read it and read it. You will see the change. Because after reading, meditation. Remember meditation. It, it draws us near to God. Because when you meditate, you called him. Knowing, because you know that, the way it is God himself. In the beginning, the word was with him. The word is God. So when you touch even when I look for it, I will say, where are you, my God? Because I'm looking for you. Because I didn't know, I didn't see where I put my Bible. Because it, I was using it and I didn't know where I placed it. Then I say, come here, my God. I need you, my Father. Feel me. Your spirit is hungry. It needs a weight. Children of God, you cannot, when you pray with me, says, I'll wait for Pro uh, Prophetess Ruth or Sister Ruth or Evangelist Ruth to come and preach on, on Tuesday. Then I'll break on Thursday. I'll break on and Wednesday and then I'll see her Thursday. And then Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday and Monday, I'll be breaking because she will not be praying with us and she told us that she pray with us. And I'll never read the word. No! Those scriptures that I'm giving to you, even if you don't pray 20 minutes, one hour, pray. Have your time. Go to your room and pray. You are talking with your father. I develop a tendency that when, before I read the word, because when I worship and pray for all of you and my family, when I pray for my family, I'll never finish the prayer without praying for you. Then I'll ask God, Father God, I have done a prayer. Then I need a word. I want to speak with you now. I was praying for them. But now we need a word. Because I know you are the word and you will speak with me. Give me the word. I, I, I'm, it's my tendency. I don't open the verse. I ask him and he will give it to me. And when I read, it will be about what I was praying about. Everything that I was praying about. Then I'll get it in the word. Because I'm developing a relationship more with him so that he can guide me more and take more of me and give me more of him. I just want to be more of him. I don't want myself. I don't want to live my, for myself a life that has a short time. I want internal one. Children of God. He's still God. You know where my heart is, is so painful? It's when he say. In the book of John 14, verse 15. I'll give you now. I'll tell you now. I 
I'll give you another advocate. He will help you will be with you forever. When you believe in him. And in you, he will not leave you as an orphan. Look, how, just listen how he loves us. He will never let us be orphans. Hmm? Because he was going to the Father. If you go on the following pages, verse 17. Immediately after verse 17, when after he put the hand on each on every one of his twelve. He was busy repeatedly telling his father that protect me for them. I know this world is not good at all. Just protect for them. His worry was about leaving me and you like this. Look at the suffering. Eh? We sleep at night like this morning when we, we, we were having a discussion with my husband. And then he, 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 we, we, we ask each other how to sleep in the morning. And when he says, no, uh, uh, uh. Because we, 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 uh, I was praying to destroy Satan, another serpent, and now it ended up dead. Then now Satan go and get all his agents and take us to the graveyards to say, yeah, in, in, in the graveyard. Uh, and then the, 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 uh, uh, the, the agents of Satan being full in the deal. We're like, let me put it like, in the satanic courts. That's why I told you before that Satan can take you in his darkness courts just to go and judge you to do this, uh, do this. Uh, and he's telling you what you did. You pray too much. Wanna do one, two, three, two. Like, now the judge was, why did we kill? Why do? We kill his snake. <laughs> yeah? Because it's his agent. Now because you did that, we are coming here to inject you and your husband and your wife with all the sicknesses starting from HIV to cancer and whatever. So you see, children of God, why I'm telling you, I'm telling you that you must know that whether you pray or not, let me say, even if you say, man, I'm no longer going to pray, I'm going to, start, uh, to, to save the other darkness, or I'm trying to pray, I'll go to the Sangomas or the other kingdom and try them. When you go there, you are going to die. Because they take your soul. What Satan does, ne, children of God, he will first take the anointing in you. Remember when I said that the minute you said, Holy Spirit, I accept you and you follow him. He give you an advocate. Because every day when you pray, you ask God to forgive your sins. Then when you do this, obviously, my our Father in heaven, Father God, is releasing the Holy Spirit to you. So what Satan needs in you, you just need only that Holy Spirit because he's so stupid and he's urgent. He thinks that when he kills you, he'll take what is inside you and you will be powerless. So even if I'm a child of God praying, you are a child of God of praying, you will still go, you don't see sometimes, you are still going to the kingdom of darkness in his court. So we are charging you for praying too much. Yesterday we are charging you for not, uh, uh, for, for you were praying, you say, all goes fire, all goes fire, you repeat it. That fire, don't undermine it, it come out like a burning fire, go and burn them. Holy Ghost fire always goes to, because it's holy, to the darkness that is tormenting you and the family. Then that's where he retaliate. And I knew, children of God, because Holy Spirit already told, told me that prayer yesterday before we sleep at night, before we're taken to the courts of darkness to be judged about killing the snakes of darknesses. I knew. When I pray the prayer in the afternoon, Holy Spirit turned my prayers and said, pray about this. They will be coming. They will be many. Then I started to change this. Father, I know since you exposed this, the serpents, that serpent is Satan himself. It's an ancient serpent. I know that they will come being hundreds to torment them. Immediately at night it happened like this. So that's why I say you shall not die. He torment you. 
<laughs> That's why he's using all his agent, putting dolls with needles to pierce you in the pain. When it does that, when you are even in, the, in front of people or you are alone, go to the room and say, all the pins that are sent to pierce me or anyone in my family, go back where you're coming from. Well, because fire melted and destroyed. Resist, Satan, I resist you. And I shall never stop to call my father's name. Those are the ways. Thank you, children of God. We are teaching one another and we are growing in the way. I'm not even clever. There are things that I do, do mistakes that I don't even know that it's mistakes. But I always call my father Jesus to come and mend and, and, and recreate me and restore me and fortify me again and make me the way he wants me to be. Children of God, let's pray. And we have to believe. Believe in your Father God. Believe that God is still alive. And you will do it. And always tell him that, Father God, I know you are still perfecting my life. Leave whatever disease is in my body, I know you are perfecting it. The finances that are blocked, I know you will perfect it when the time is right. The job that I'm applying, you will perfect it. You will give me money, you are still perfecting it. What you want, you want only to believe. So the little doubt that we have, we have, is the one that is blocking us. That's why you said, Father, help me, help me, help my unbelief. I want to believe that you are God. Remove that little thing that is making me not to believe. I know you created me. Resist Satan. Let's close our eyes. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we love you. We love you for coming. Sending by our Father God. Father God, we salute you in the heavenly, in the heavenly, in the heavenly throne. We salute you, my Father God. Jesus Christ sitting on the right hand of his Father. Holy Spirit, we love you being in our hearts. Being our advocate. We love you, our God, our Lord, the King of the Kings. We say, fill our heart. Come, Holy Spirit, purge every evil, all the weaknesses that we have that's blocking us not to receive you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, seen as we are, we confess it in your eyes. Begin to confess your sins, children of God. Tell him, sin as we are, purge our sins, purge our iniquities. Holy Spirit, wash us, all our iniquity, so that we can be whiter than the snow. When you did it, Holy Spirit, we will follow you fully. Wash out. Bring the joy of your salvation in our hearts. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For washing and we believe that we have paid it. My Father, my Jesus, let them receive the Holy Spirit. Father, they have accepted our sins. Wash them, Lord. Continue and release the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill their heart. Receive the Holy Spirit, children of God. Fill their heart. Receive the Holy Spirit to guide you, children of God. Holy Spirit, fill their heart. Our Father God, release the Holy Spirit to direct them. The Holy Spirit to teach them your ways. The Holy Spirit, Lord, to talk to them. Jesus Christ, my God and Savior, release the Holy Spirit so that they can conquer all the darknesses, the evil forces, the challenges in this world. My Father Jesus Christ, my God, release the Holy Spirit in their hearts. Let it protect them from the evil one. My Father, let them protect their children, their families. Release the Holy Spirit in their hearts. My Father, release them. Take it, children of God. Possess the Holy Spirit. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the authority and the powerful name of Jesus. Take the Holy Spirit. Feel your heart. Take the Holy Spirit of my Father. Holy Spirit, guide us. Holy Spirit, take control. Holy Spirit, protect us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, they have received the Holy Spirit. You are filling the heart, Lord. You are taking and filling the heart. You are taking the Holy Spirit to be their advocate. You are telling the Holy Spirit to take control. They receive it. They possess it. They are not letting it go. 
Because it's part of you, my fathers in the heaven. By the authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil root that is buried and connected to them. The root to block their, uh, uh, their, their breakthrough. The root of Satan to block their spiritual growth. The, re the root from Satan blocking the spirit of God to work in them. The root from Satan and darkness blocking them for their prosperity, their destiny. Blocking their virtues. The roots of darkness blocking their health. Blocking their marriages. The roots of forces of darkness that is linked to them. Not to accept Jesus fully. The Lord and Savior. I break you by the power of the Lord. Be broken you evil roots. Be totally destroyed. Lose your grip. I break you. My Father, my Jesus. Release the axe of fire and cut every evil root, every evil bondages, blockages from Satan. Holy Ghost, fire be total broken. Be broken. Be delivered, children of God. Be revived, children of God. Possess your possession. Take what belongs to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every wicked chain that has chained our finances. Evil virus that has been locked where they lock their breakthrough their lives, that they lock their marriages, that they lock their prosperity, they lock their spirit not to connect with Father, they lock their spirit not to do their own churches in order to change their souls and win them. They lock that they lock all their prosperity, they lock all their successes. They lock all their jobs and promotion. Be mad that you evil uh, virus. Be mad that you evil virus of locks. I disconnect you by the power of the ghost. Release the burning sulfur, my father. Let it melt. I melt you. Holy Ghost fire be melted. Holy Ghost fire where evil virus have been locked and be buried. Be uprooted. I unlock you. Release the breakthrough of the children of God. Or goes fire wherever you are operating, wherever you are buried. Or goes fire at the gates, at the yard. You evil viral rocks, be open. Or goes fire, be open. Be melted like wax. Melt and release the children of God. Lose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Release our breakthrough. Their marriage is our health. Release our spiritual growth. Release our level to connect with Father God. Give them envyness to read the word of God. I break you. Be melted. Thunder from the Holy Ghost. Thunder strike and destroy. Thunder of the Holy Ghost search and burn it. Thunder of the Holy Ghost uproot that evil virus. Be total mad. Release the breakthrough of the children of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the authority of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Get out, lose your creep. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. Every evil bondage from the forefathers, their families, evil wicked adversaries. You bondages connected to the children of God. Not to be successful. To block their businesses. You block their prosperity. You block their health. You send pains all over their bodies. You send all diseases, viruses. You incurable diseases and bondages and viruses. You evil parts of disease from the evil altars. You evil idols. You evil dolls. That they have been put with needles to pierce their hearts, their pains under their feet, their waist. You piercing them to torment them. By the authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The authority that is very powerful. The name that every evil and mouth has to kneel down and confess and declare that Father Lord Jesus, you are the king. I break those needles. Holy Ghost fire to all the darkness, evil linkages, bondages, evil chains be totally broken. The chains in the legs be totally broken. Be melted, evil chains inside and out. Holy Ghost fire destroy you. Holy Ghost fire be totally destroyed. 
I break you totally in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All goes fire. All of the body flows. All goes fire. Lose your grip, you sat. All goes fire. Be exposed and be humiliated. You Satan, you evil enemies. Pretending to come to the children of God as if you help. Be exposed and be humiliated. All goes fire. Be paralyzed. Be tormented. Expose my father God. When they sleep, expose all their adversaries. Warn them, my father, through dreams. I destroy the blockages that block their dreams, their visions. Holy Ghost fire. After this, I declare by the heavenly throne. They shall see dreams and dreams. Holy Ghost fire, you Satan. We break and know your yokes. Holy Ghost fire, we disconnect all your wickedness. You are plan. To torment them from 12 midnight, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the morning, 7 o'clock, daylight. Be totally destroyed. We break and unify your powers. I render you powerless. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power that pattern. I can see the fire of the ghost. Destroying all your yokes, your bondages. Destroying your chains, your evil ropes. Your evil, evil roots that you connect them. Your evil chains. Be totally broken. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Lord. Every evil chain. Or ropes. Or linkage. Or roots. That is moving from villages in the northwest side, operating in the foundation of the houses in the yards, making evil tunnels to connect them under their beds, their rooms, to torment them and link with them when they sleep, they dream, evil spiritual husbands, spiritual or spiritual children, dreaming inside the water swimming, dreaming are surrounded by wickedness witches, Dreaming being fed by idol spirits. Dreaming all their cell phones stolen. Their cars broken. Stranded. Dreaming of all familiar spirits. God's evil, evil birds. Evil gods. As a demon, as a satan. Dreaming serpents and dragons. Those evil linkage. Operating under the ground in their foundation. Their gates, their yards, under the foundation of their house. Those tunnels be totally broken. I said the coal of fire, or it was fire. I possess the power from my Father in heaven who bestowed in me. The Holy Spirit. Be released and destroy it. All their tunnels, their evil robes. I can see them. Or it was fire be totally broken. The coal of fire. From heaven, the thunder, the missile. Let it fill those tunnels and break the yokes. Destroy those linkage. I break it. Release your axe of fire, Lord. Your sword, your double gold, uh, golden edge sword. To cut those ropes. Be totally exposed and destroyed. Holy Ghost fire, get out, you Satan. Out in Jesus' name. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire, get out wherever you're hiding. You connect in their bodies to monitor them, to block them. Get out your blockages. Holy Ghost fire in their body fluces. I uproot you. Holy Ghost fire be totally broken. Out in Jesus' name. Be tormented. Burn and melt. Be totally destroyed. Power of the Holy Ghost. The staff of Moses, I use it. My father, I take it. By the authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cut those ropes. Get out. I disconnect those ropes. Leave the children of God. Leave the children of God. Be released, the children of God. Be up. Be, be released. Get the, 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 the deliverance. Take your deliverance. Be uprooted, you roots. Be as small as I cut you. Be uprooted, you linkage. Evil. Evil tunnels of Satan from the lead from your pit of hell and you link to the children of God. I can see you how you operate them, tormenting their spirits at night. They don't sleep, you block their sleep so that they must see what you are doing. All of us fire in all the linkage in their body, 
their cells, their veins, their eyes, their hands, their brain, their heart, under the feet, in the stomach, where you operate, tormenting and poisoning the Holy Spirit in the stomach, in the heart. Holy Ghost, fire be total, bro. Get out. I uproot you by the authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire, I break your yokes. Get out. Holy Ghost, fire, be disconnected. Holy Ghost, fire, leave the children of God. Holy Ghost, fire, get out. Out in the flute, blood. Out in the stomach. Get out. Out wherever you're hiding, you Satan. Out, you darkness. Holy Ghost, fire, release the fire of the Holy Ghost. I burn you out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire, get out. Lose your creep, you son. Holy Ghost, fire, get out from the children of God. The other children of God. Leave them. Get out. Go back to your abyss. You evil forces of darkness. You demon. Invisible demon. Out in Jesus' name. Get out. Take all your load. Out in Jesus' mighty name. You shall never come back. And when you come back, may the blood of Jesus that is filled to the children of God destroy you. I release the blood of Jesus. Take the blood of your father. Take your power, your anointing. More grace in whatever you do. More light of God. More grace in whatever you touch. It has to be blessed wherever you go. Bless them when they go out and they come in. The blood of Jesus. More authority. More power. Be above forces of darkness. Be above Satan and his agent. The light of God on top of you. The anointing from heaven. Holy Ghost, fire be released. Search and destroy and burn. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The light of God. Holy Ghost, fire, blood of Jesus. The light of God. I see the fire of the Holy Ghost. The light of God. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Burning all the linkage of Satan. The robes of forces of darkness. Leave them. And release the power to do the work of God. You shall never block them. Out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire. The light of God on your body flu system. The light of God all over your veins, your flu system. Purge and destroy the darknesses. Be uprooted, you darkness. Get out and die. Get out and be exposed. Get out and be broken, you chains, you linkages, you bondages. Get out. Out in Jesus' name. Get out. God goes fire. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of by the authority and the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fill them. Holy Ghost, Spirit of my Father. Advocate, control them. Protect them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of Jesus. I cover them. I cover them from head to their children. I soak them. Their intestines, their organs. From head to their marriages, their children. Wherever they touch. Their documents. That is giving them to, to not to, 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 be, to prosper. I soak them with the blood. Their passports. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Their businesses. The light of God. The blood of Jesus Christ. Their yards. Under their beds. In the house. Wherever they move. The blood of Jesus Christ. The roof of their houses. The ceiling. The walls. The, all the windows. The blood of Jesus Christ. Their cars. Inside the cars. The blood of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost will pierce the darkness and soak it, Lord, wherever they set their feet. The blood of Jesus Christ. Their children, those who are sick. The blood of Jesus Christ. The light of God to thunder and heal. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are God and God alone. Thank you, children of God. Whatever you do and you touch, let it prosper. I declare by the blood of the Holy Ghost and the fire, the blood of the Lamb, I touch you. Let the light of God be too much to destroy the forces of darkness that monitor you wherever you go. Thank you, children of God. May God bless you abundantly. May you all receive your heart desire. Love you with the love of God. Let the peace be with you. We shall meet again on Thursday. Thank you.